Psychological and behavior science fundamentally is the study of human behavior, how people make decisions, how they reason, and all the big topics of psychology, emotion, judgment, love, hate, war. We combine our psychology degree with behavioral science and look at behavior in a range of contexts, so how we understand the impact of human behavior in organizations, the role of behavior in areas like climate change, pandemic response, AI, all of these big topics of the 21st century. We look into stuff like your cognition, motivation, emotions, and we see how that influences your behavior in different social contexts and how different people behave differently. It's all about trying to not only understand behavior, but also think about how can we predict human behavior and then how can we influence or change behavior, both at kind of a personal level, but also if we're thinking about broader policy contexts as well. It's the only program in the country that not only integrates psychology and behavioral science, but also situates those in the broader social sciences with a view to application. But we like to tell our students that if it doesn't work in the real world, then it doesn't really work at all. So that means thinking about the neuroscience, it means thinking about the evolutionary biology, the economics, the political science, but then also thinking about how can we translate this to public policy? How can we use this to help businesses? It's not just the traditional psychology degree where we learn about psychological theories and methods. It was also the connection to the real world and real world applications, which seemed really amazing and really interesting to me. The other thing that is really unique about the department and LSE is really the diversity. The international students within the department, but also at the faculty level. And I know as a scholar from the Global South myself, just how important that diversity and that representation is to feel like you belong and to feel that you can contribute to the future of psychological and behaviour science. The students have a great time on our programme with the small number of students that are on our courses. We really develop a community and emphasise peer learning. And overall, we think we provide a fantastic education for young people interested in the psychological and behavioural sciences. So our students alone learn things in the abstract they learn things that they can immediately begin to use. A good example of this is our assessments. Many universities will have you writing essays that no one other than your professor and you will ever read. What we do is immediately get people to do real world relevant things. Our students write blog posts. They contribute to Wikipedia. They write memos. They create podcasts. They actively engage in the world because you know what? We're in the 21st century and there's no reason to play with toy assessments when you can do something real from the beginning. We've got a particular focus on the technical skills behind data literacy, so things like statistical analysis and research methods and design. And these are really crucial skills, particularly for the modern workplace where firms, organisations are not just looking for students with psychological and behavioural science expertise, but also those expertise fused with data literacy, uh, being able to understand big data sets and extrapolate from big data sets trends uh, that might be useful for them to know in terms of intervention. At the core of the offering is a really strong training in research methods, both in terms of quantitative training, but also really importantly developing qualitative skills as well. So how can we use the richness of qualitative data? I think that's really at the heart of some of the core skills that students will be learning, alongside really gaining knowledge of, of cutting edge psychological and behavioural science. So I think the programme really enabled us to dive into real world phenomena that really makes us curious um, and write and demonstrate that understanding in a way we wanted to. So that was really exciting. Students go to consulting, some go to even go to banking, some students go into uh, decision making, they work in different uh, tech companies, and also you have students who go in more traditional careers in psychology. Some of our graduates have gone on to work in places like the Behavioural Insights team or worked on behavioural teams across big organisations like the UN. A number of our graduates work in corporate settings, for example, looking at the psychology of how people interact with AI or how they interact with digital health products. Students are working in data science, applying data science to different fields. They're working in finance and banking. They've gone on to do consulting work. And they're working in different domains, sustainability, health, but also some of them have continued their studies. They've gone on to postgraduate study as well to really do a deep dive into an area that they found interesting during their undergraduate studies with us. The list is endless. It really is a fantastic springboard for all sorts of different jobs and opportunities.